Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking Mixtape Trappers Radio, man. I got a special guest in the building, bitch. All the way from H-Town, ho. Ratchet Blues, man. What's happening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ratchet Blues in the building, man. What's going down with it, my brother? What's good, man? Can't Hell call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, man, you came all the way from Houston, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like facts, man. All the way from the H, man. Seven one three to the four one four, man. Y'all know I fuck with the meal, man. I fuck with the meal for shit, show, man. The bullshit. Well, shit, like, is this your uh, first time in Milwaukee or not? Man, nah, I've been, I've been back and forth from the meal about five years now, man. Okay. Just be, you know what I'm saying, in and out on business and shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So be in and out. So I definitely, uh, I definitely be in the city touching a lot of bases and shit, man, for sure. The bullshit. Hey, but like, what you think about uh, Milwaukee, bro? Like, what's your take on the city? Man, I fuck with it just because of the type of nigga I am. I'm more of a laid back, cool nigga, man. So you know what I'm saying. I don't really just fuck around, and you know what I'm saying. Like, of course, I'm from Houston, so it's the nightlife, twenty four seven, and that motherfucker. So mm -hmm. I ain't the nigga that's outside, though. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. I be more writing, right, man, perfecting my craft and shit. So you know what I'm saying. I fuck with the mirror. It's just more laid back, some somewhere I can just you know come get my mind right. Gather my thoughts and shit, and you know what I'm saying? Just lock in on the shit that I need to focus in on, man. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect for me, man. It's like somewhere I definitely, you know what I'm saying? Stack that bag up and just come lay low in, man. For sure. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like, it's, it's some shiesty niggas out here, too. Bro. Yeah, so you yeah. gotta be, hey, that's it, where, well, man. You gotta know how to move. You gotta be in the right places, right times, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta know where you at, man. Your surrounding and shit. Definitely. It's how you carry yourself, too, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, you know, but, yeah. But, but like for the motherfuckers that um, ain't never been to Houston, like how would you describe Houston to uh, somebody that ain't never been there? Oh man, I mean, uh, somebody ain't never been there, they'll love it, man. It's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, to do as far as nightlife. You know, it's a lot of family things to do and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot to do, period, man. A lot of areas, a lot of different places, man. So for anybody that never been there, it'd be, you know what I'm saying, it'd be real dope for somebody, man. But like you said, some, some shiesty motherfuckers out there too, so. Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just no good area, man. It's, you got to watch where you at, so you know how that shit go. Yeah, because I ain't going to lie. I went to that gas station over by the Toyota Center. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is. I, I don't know what the fuck was the name of the gas station. But nigga sold me some weed, bro. He said he has some weed for sale, but he looked as shiesty as a bitch, but I just yeah. said, fuck it. I just took the chance, bro. Yeah. Like, he was like, he's like, no, nah, man, like, because I was looking, I needed some weed bad, bro. Like, And I was just like. Man, fuck it, come on, man. That shit was gas, though. Yeah, so, yeah, guys, it was gas. And that was downtown area, so yeah. shit. That was that's supposed to be the, you know, what I'm saying the good side. So you know, niggas gonna get it in there where they is. So mm -hmm. hell yeah, man. That's how it be, man, for sure. For real. But like, uh, what part of uh, what side of Houston is you from? North, South? Or? Man, I'm from South Side, man. Herm Clark, stand up, man. Kroglerville, <laughs> 3900, shit, man. You know, a whole lot of block shit going on, man. Shout <laughs> out to my little brother, them, man. You know what's going on, man. What shit? South side, though, but it's all love on the north, too, though, man. It's all love, though, man. That shit ain't like it was. Everybody kind of, you know what I'm saying, coming together, coming in, and trying to make some money and business moves happen. So mm -hmm. everybody out there getting to it, man. Shout out now for South for the H, man. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, Michelle, like, what was it like What was it like growing up over there, um, growing up um, as a child? Oh, man, I mean, shit. It always could be worse, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Shit, it's the project, you know, it's a project here where you go, you know what I'm saying? Especially the skin we got, man. So we always got the kind of bad end of the stick wherever we at. So, yeah. you know, it's always a struggle and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a mindset, too. It's about how you move, how you think, you know what I'm saying? And how you, you know, handle, handle your shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, shit, it always could have been worse. But, shit, it's fair. I'm still here. I'm still going. So, yeah. shit, I can't, I can't complain at all. Uh, yeah, but like, um, what was it like? Um, it, it was more laid back, or was it like you had to hustle, or like what was it like growing up? Like, man, uh, it was more for me, man. It was more just getting get, get it while I can, get it while I could. As mm -hmm. as far as like, you know, what I'm saying I, I won't speak on much. Like as far as like hustling and you know, what I'm saying because it's just uh, get it where you could, city type shit. You know, right. what I'm saying with with me being able to do music, that saved me in a lot of situations to where I could have been doing some dumb shit but yeah. I was able to get a feature or do a show you know what I'm saying so I've been doing music for a while since yeah. since I was a kid so you know God blessed me with a, with a gift to where you know it kind of kept me out of trouble and, and, and stopped me from doing the shit that you know what I'm saying my homies and everybody else was growing up doing too so man that was a blessing for me too so shit. yeah but yeah. shit like who used to fuck with like growing up like what music like who used to listen to Oh uh, man, I, I like a lot of different music, man. Of course, I like the uh, the hometown guys for sure, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
I just like uh, down south music, you know what I'm saying, from the Louisianas to, to you know, Alabama, you know, yeah. Mississippi. And, you know, I like that sound and shit of music and shit. Of course, the East Coast and the West Coast, you know, they got yeah. their sound and shit, but uh, I like a lot of kind of that country flavor shit, you know what I'm saying, that just uh, different shit, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I feel like they ain't get a lot of love, you know what I'm saying, as far as industry. Yeah. But man, it's uh it's, it's some dope shit in the south though, for real, yeah. for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bullshit. Like you know, I like I, I'm a big uh, DJ Screw uh, fan. Yeah, bro. Screw. You know what I'm yeah. Screw. He he was super hard, but even though I know Pimp, I know he ain't from Houston, but uh he from Arlington or something. Yeah. Yeah. PA. Yeah. Yeah. PA, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with Pimp too. Hard. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah Screw still big as uh big as he was back in the day. Still in the H now, man. A lot of love for Screw. A lot of love for what he did and. And you know the platforms that he that he made away for what we can do today in the city. You know what I'm saying? So, really shout out to Screw. They got a lot coming for him too, as far as documentaries and shit like that. So man, I'm really happy to see what they gonna do with that. You know, and that movement too. And of course, Pimp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, you know, shout out Lil Pimp, man. Free Free Lil Pimp too, man. In the oh, city. he locked up. Yeah, Lil Pimp, man. Yeah. And uh, Herm Clark, man. He he from Herm Clark, man. Shout out Lil Pimp, man. Free Free my God, man. So. You know, it's all love. You know, Pim Pim gonna do his thing for shit show, man, and uh, in the city for show. Him and Bun, man, they they legends. You know, what well, from where we from, like you can't you can't tell motherfuckers they ain't from Houston. They going they <laughs> in the city every day. Bun with the Astro, you know, they doing their thing. So, UGK for show, for show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I had went to the Screw Shop, bro. That shit was I ain't gonna lie, I was scared as a bitch when I went in there. Yeah, cause it, it was it was like it was dark and they was playing the chop the screw music. I ain't see nobody in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And then a big ass black dude just came from in the back. I was like, God damn, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> screw Shop be low key, man. Shout out Screw Shop. That's yeah. right there in the hood too. That's in the yeah. clock right there too, man. So, mm -hmm. shout out the Screw Shop, man. Uh, they 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 be low key, man. I got a couple of classics that I. Saved up, I ain't even hit the seal yet on them just because, you know what I'm saying? So, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. No real. Hey, but shit, like, what you got out right now? Because I heard a couple tracks, man. Like, I ain't gonna lie, dog. That shit is hard. You know oh, man. Like, that that, hard. That, that's a mixtape I'm getting ready to do, man. Uh, I actually had to pull a lot of music down that I had. I had over four albums, over 25 videos on YouTube. Damn. I pulled them down for a nice situation I got brewing up, so... You know what I'm saying? Right now, I think I got a couple videos on YouTube that's just like mixtape videos and shit that people still can go check out under Ratchet Blues and shit like that. Uh, as far as uh, like music, I, I probably still got some shit on SoundCloud they probably can go catch under Ratchet Blues and shit like that just to get a feel for who I am and shit. But of course, I got a lot of new shit coming though soon, soon, so. Hell yeah, man, for sure. You still can go check out some. Just type in Ratchet Blues and Blues. some shit will pop up for sure, for sure for you. Bullshit. Hey, yeah, but what made you uh, want to take rap serious, though? Like, what made you be like, man, you know what? I want to do this shit for real, for real, like, uh, for a living. Like, what made you make that decision? Oh, man, uh, for me, it was always, uh, I knew I had the talent to, because uh, I started out singing and shit, mm -hmm. so... Um, I knew I could sing and shit, so mm -hmm. once I knew I could make records and make songs, write music, sing, rap, and do all the shit, and I did it and, and, and it started making money, it just made sense to me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Why work harder when you can work smarter, you know what I'm saying? And that's just been my philosophy for what I do, you know what I'm saying? So I take it serious, so, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of niggas don't take it serious to where you, you know, got to turn yourself into a business for real, for real, mm -hmm. and then you'll see where this shit can really go and where it can get you, especially when you're talented. I seen it, so, you know, a nigga can't tell me that that this ain't where it's at, like you yeah. know what I'm saying. So, yeah. so for me, I just knew at an early age what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it, and you know what I'm saying. A hard work and dedication, of course, and now it's you know starting to pay off in certain ways. Mm -hmm. That bullshit. Yeah, yeah, man, I can't wait to see what you got in the works, man. Because like, yeah, you don't sound like Raw Wave, but I will put you in there. Raw wave ish type boat, yeah. like, but you don't sound nothing like him. But yeah, like if, but if I could compare somebody, I'll compare you to him. Yeah, man. Uh, bit. I get a lot of raw wave, Mo three, you know Mo3, what I'm saying, yes, Moray. Yeah. I get a lot of the uh, the the young guys that's kind of doing what I feel is the new genre, which is my name, Ratchet Blues. It's Ratchet just Blues. like I said, it's just a it's just a expression, a way of living, you know what I'm saying, a lifestyle to rap. And kind of sing with a melodic sound yeah. to where we come from in, in the everyday struggles of what we deal with. I feel like a lot of them guys like Raw Wave, they don't know that it's Ratchet Blues yet. But, you know, as time, you know, time prevail, they'll, they'll kind of get, get a, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I appreciate the compliments, though, man, because them boys doing their thing and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
I always love when they compare me to the to the guys that's doing their thing and made a name for themselves. So man, just give me hope that I'm on the right page and doing the right shit, man. For sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, but uh, I don't know if you seen it or not, but um, a couple weeks ago, like it, it went kind of viral. Uh, my man had killed a nine year old girl. You know what I'm saying in Houston. I guess somebody uh, robbed him at the ATM yeah, yeah. Uh, for 20 bucks, and he was trying to shoot at the dude that robbed him, and uh, he ended up hitting that girl. Yeah, that shit was crazy. And then I think they say he got off on that shit too, he right? He got out, yeah, he got off. Yeah, that shit crazy. That shit, don't, that shit just crazy to me, man. It's like, you know, if it's $20, it's 20 You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, I understand the principle of it, but you got to... You got to put in perspective the innocent bystanders and the lives you're putting in jeopardy when, you know what I'm saying, I understand his mind probably clicked. And it's just a crazy situation. All in all, you know, it's just, you know, prayers to that family that did lose that, you know, that that, that child. So, you know, we never want to lose kids in this world and shit. That's always, you know, crazy, fucked up situation. So, uh, you know, prayers up for that family and shit. And, man, you know, that's just a hard situation to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, I can't really just, you know, that's just a crazy situation, man. Crazy place, crazy time, just crazy shit around the world that's going on right now, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know. but uh, a lot of people, like, they was chiming in. They was saying that the dude that he shot at should be getting charged with the murder of the little girl. Man, shit, either way, somebody need to get charged for it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's an innocent girl in the shit. So, you know what I'm saying? If they haven't found the guy, did they find the guy? I don't know. I guess I, but I just know they let him off the dude that actually killed the girl. Yeah, yeah. They let him off. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, somebody, you know what I'm saying? They got to be justice some way, somehow, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's just a crazy situation, though, bro, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It was definitely, man. Hell yeah, but shit, like, uh, like what, um, new music, because <clears throat> I, you know, I've been on the uh, Instagram page, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen you with Harry Yo, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Man, like, Harry yeah, Yo, he yeah, a legend, bro. Big homie, man, yeah. for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah. Man, uh, I got a lot of shit coming, man. Shout out Ball City, man. Shout out Michael Harris, man, for the ones that don't know, man, the founder of Death Row, man. So, yeah. you know, man, I had a chance to really sit down with him, man, and, and, and showcase my music, showcase what I can do to him, man, for a length of time, so. And it went great, man. So we got a lot of shit that's cooking up, man. So shout out the whole Death Row team, Ball City, man. Shout out all them guys over there, man. We got we got a lot we're going to show the world, man. So on a lot of different things, music, a lot of shit, man. I can't speak too much on it, you know what I'm saying, because it's brewing up. But for sure, for sure, it's worth enough to, to tell boys that it's coming and it's for real, man. So the proof in the pudding, man. Follow me at Ratchet Blues, man. Go check it out, man. If you don't know Michael Harris, man, do your homework, man. He finna take over the world, man. Take over the film, man. Take over music. So y'all tap in, man. We on the way, Boss City. Stand up. Yeah, yeah, because like uh, you ain't got you ain't got to answer uh, or you ain't got to answer if you don't want to, but could it potentially be a Ratchet Blues death row uh, situation going on? Oh man, I just gotta stay tuned, man. Okay. We gonna we gonna definitely we gonna definitely wear Ball City though, man. That's the new that's the new shit that's coming, man. For sure, for sure, Ball City soft, man. So uh, the death row Ratchet Blues, of course, it's all intertwined because it's coming from the big homie, big Harry. So we just never know what the world got planned. So hopefully, if my music can reach the ears, man, and we can make some real shit happen, man. For sure, for sure. Good shit. Hell yeah, because, you know, like, uh, even though it's kind of tied in, I know Harry Yo kind of, he, he I think he got locked up, like, when Pac, like, was hot, hot. Yeah. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your uh, opinion on Pac? Because, you know, like, he's still, like, a household name. Oh, yeah, He's man. still going viral. People still making content about him. Like, uh, like what what, what, do you, what type of impact do you think he had on man, music, period? Pac, one of them ones. Yeah. I tell my people all the time, like, how the hell you have a, a five year run like he did. You know what I'm saying? It's damn near impossible, you know what I'm saying? Like to do what and and, and the, the the impact that he have and that he left on the world. And you know, it damn near been twenty years 25 damn near. Years, you know, twenty five years now yeah. since since he been gone and and what he do still for film, music. He was just one of them ones, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're like legend for sure, for sure. You know, when you speak of, you know, music and you speak of real shit real man you gotta you gotta mention him so 
You know what I'm saying? Pac is one of them ones, though. Like, he influenced a lot. Like, if not everybody that we damn near like that's, that's you know, in that 90s, 2000, that yeah. grew up in that era, man. You know, Pac was a big influence on all of us, man. Either if he wasn't influenced on you personal, he influenced your favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? He influenced their favorite. You know what I'm saying? He had something to do with the influence, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. So, man, shout out to Pac, man, for sure. But shit, like where you a rank Pac, like on the top five, like where 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 would you place him or a top ten? Like where would you I mean, place uh, Pac? Of of course he in the top five for sure. Yeah, top. You know what I'm saying? If you ask me, he'll be top three. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just I'm born in '92, so for okay. me it's just you know I of course I'm gonna have a different because I grew up listening to like Lil Wayne, like yeah. you know he had a real impact on what rap was to me, like yeah. and how we. You know what I'm saying? So, but of course, Pac in the top five, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just like saying, you know, with Jordan and LeBron and shit, a lot of people say, you know, but he'll be number one. I can't argue that situation, but, you know, my generation and what we seen, you know, it'll be, you know, Wayne and then, you know, the rest will fall through for sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. But speaking of, uh, you know what I'm saying, LeBron and that shit, like, um, Everybody always got a LeBron Jordan debate, you know what I'm saying? Like, and in your opinion, like, who you think the goat? Like, LeBron or Jordan? Man, Jordan, man. Jordan, you ain't even got it. You know, I'm, like, you know what I'm saying? Proof in the pudding, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't lost no championships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? MVP, yeah. Finals MVP. Every, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know, who take a break for three years, come back and win three more, man? Come on. Man. Yeah, he went crazy, right? Yeah, so, and then that's in the 90s, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people said uh, they wanted to see the Houston Rockets and the uh, Chicago Bulls, man, when he took that break, man. They, I don't know who I, like I said, that wasn't my time, but they say Elijah one was a motherfucker, though, man. That's what they the say. Bullshit, the bullshit. Yeah. No, I watched plenty highlights, bro. Like, nigga, he like Giannis, like, with better footwork. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look. I describe Hakeem, bro. He was yeah. nasty, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that probably would have been dope to see, too, man. But, you know, you know, Mike and up, man. Then, you know, Kobe, LeBron, you know how it go, mm-hmm. man. That's that's just how I'm putting it, man. Yeah. That, it, it sound right. It's supposed, that's how it's supposed to be, man. So, wait, hold on. Wait, so, you said Jordan, Kobe, then LeBron? Mike, Kobe, LeBron, man. Oh, that's, hell, how, bro. hey, that's how I got to go hell, for me bro. because you got to think about it. I'm born 92. I seen Kobe. Yeah. I seen Bron too, but I we seen Kobe before we seen Bron. We seen what yeah. Kobe did to the lead, bro. Like we seen it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. for me, and then, you know, it's just them them clutch moments and shit, man. Like and then Kobe stayed with one franchise and you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. certain shit to okay. me that okay. makes you, you know what I'm saying? The goat. Okay. You feel me? Now now Bron would have stayed with the Cleveland the whole time and won them rings, then shit, we got an argument. Okay. But, man, you know he had to go over there with Wade and Bosh, man, to get that first one, man. Hold on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. you know that, man. Come on, man. So, But but it's all good. He, like I said, he's, they great in their own ways, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Brian is a better passer. He a better, you know what I'm saying, facility. Like, he got better, you know what I'm saying? It's better shit that they, you know what I'm saying? So, it's always going to be an argument with them three, though. You know what I'm saying? You always going to have an argument. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like you said, Giannis on the way too, cause that motherfucker there, man. He going crazy. Nigga unstoppable, Giannis, fool. He, yeah, he going crazy. He unguardable, bro. Yeah, and he the Middleton was healthy. Yeah, that, we that probably beat them Hey, niggas. man, they we probably would have been talking about a different champion right now, man. Bro, they would have beat. I, I, I don't know if they would be going to state. Hey, I don't know. They would be going to With a healthy Middleton, man, yeah. say. That's why I said, man, I want to see them boys. They they got a little better too, though. Who y'all y'all got the who y'all got in the off season? I got somebody good in the off season. No, we got the rookie. Uh, I forgot the rookie name, but he called the Indian dude. I forgot his name. Yeah, I know y'all got a y'all got a trade too. Y'all got somebody from a different squad too. I forgot who it was, but it was somebody good though, man. I know Milwaukee that they gonna be good as long as Giannis over there. Yeah, motherfucker <laughs> gonna be a problem, man. <laughs> Shit show, man. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, uh, but like, um, <clears throat> like, what you got? When your uh, next project dropping? Like, when can we be expecting it? Oh uh, man, I got a mixtape coming soon, man. I told my people I was gonna drop something just for the way, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had to pull a lot of music shit down. I had to, you know what I'm saying? It's just business, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a lot of people don't understand. You feel me? Like it's just a lot of shit that gotta get tied up with this shit, man. And I'm just now, you know, I'm normally been in control of, you know, everything yeah. that I drop, what I do. But this situation is so crazy. You know, I'm willing to do what I got to do to, you know what I'm saying? So, but I got a mixtape coming to where I'm just kind of like grabbing beats offline and, you know what I'm saying, other beats that's high right now, I'm just kind of running them. 
So I got that dropping. I want to. Uh, I don't want to give it a date, but I know it'll be soon. Like if not this at the end of this month, mm-hmm. it'll be next month for shit show. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just month. something that I'ma just put together, drop a motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? The album cover for it. Probably do little two quick little. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mic videos for it and it's just. Give it to the people, you know what I'm saying? Just for the wait and shit, man. Yeah, but it's yeah. coming soon, though, for sure. Now, you got to get beyond on some shit, man. Like, you got to pull back up and do a video in Milwaukee, bro. Oh, man, hell yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I, man. Uh, I got a couple. I was working with, uh, man, CTM out here, man. That's my guy, man. Yeah. yeah, CTM Film. So, shout out, bro, man. He did a lot, a lot of work for me, man. So, I definitely fuck with the meal. So, man, y'all, you know, trust me, man. This ain't the last time y'all going to see me, man. It's... I fuck with the meal, man. Like I said, I be, I be low key out here, man. This that, this that play. They be like, damn, how you go from Houston and LA to, to want to come to chill in Milwaukee? <laughs> like I said, man, it's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Where you can just collect your thoughts and shit. It's hot than a motherfucker out here right now. Though, yeah, the real, that's that's y'all that's niggas feel like that. Texas out here right now. God damn, boy. That Texas heat, though. That yeah, shit yeah. Up. That's how I feel out here for the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, the real. Yeah, yeah. The real. Hell yeah! Hey, but like, is you tapped in with any rappers in Milwaukee, or have you heard any Milwaukee rappers? Or uh, not really? Man, yeah, yeah. I didn't heard a couple. I hadn't heard a few uh, rappers uh, from Milwaukee, man. Uh, uh, who you didn't heard? Uh, man, I uh, I don't know if they still rapping. Uh, I don't know what they doing now. But he had the clothing line it was uh, Petty. Man, he had the live little clothing line. Oh, you talking uh, Petty Hendrix? Yeah, Petty. Yeah, yeah, Petty yeah. had the live clothes. He was yeah. rapping and shit too. And uh, it's a couple guys that uh, I ran into in Atlanta too, man. Uh, that they was doing their thing. That that came from the mill doing their thing. I I can't put a name on them, right off top. But you know what I'm saying. I uh, you know it was a it was a few little rappers. You know what I'm saying that I fuck with though. Yeah, I did a uh, Baby Drew too, man. Oh, Baby Drew feature. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's crazy. I, I did, yeah, I did. I did that. Yeah, about five. That's yeah, about, about five years ago. You okay. know what I'm saying. Shout out Baby Drew too, man. Legend, legend in the mill for sure, for Definitely. sure. Definitely. But uh, just as far as new rappers, you know what I'm saying? A little saucy, like I think, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Brandon to him in uh, Atlanta, I mean, yeah, Atlanta and shit. Well, uh, fucking with uh, AE and them niggas and shit, man. Uh, but uh, it's a lot of rappers doing their thing, man. Shout out to the rappers in the mill, man. Moving to Atlanta. Them boys in Atlanta doing their thing, helping them artists, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people doing a lot, man, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, man, but shit, but who you want to shout out before we get out this motherfucker? Oh man? man, man, shout out the whole H Town, man. Shout out the whole Mill, man, for sure. Seven one three to the four one four, man. Hey man, y'all boys keep doing y'all thing, man. I appreciate the the interview, man. I appreciate it, man. Mixtape trappers, man. Yeah. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying, like. We got to fuck with them, man. You got to you gotta fuck with them when y'all come to the city, man. That's what it's about, man. Linking in as black men, man, and doing what we can to uplift each other and make something happen that's positive, man. And that's my whole goal. That's what I stand on, you know what I'm saying? Just positivity, man, and, and changing as much as we can or sparking that next brain to change something, you feel me? So shout out to all the young black entrepreneurs that's doing their thing, man, in the city, Milwaukee, Houston, man. Let's get to it, man. Let's keep on working. Let's keep grinding, man. Ratchet Blues, Ball City, man. We on the way. Let's go. Bullshit. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's the motherfucking Mixtape Trappers Radio, man. Ratchet Blues. What's happening? Get it. Let's go, man. Blues.